dear children hope you are doing good this chapter we are going to study the next commandment that is the third commandment do you remember which is the third commandment remember to keep holy the lord's day isn't it which is lord's day we all know it is sunday isn't it today i was so excited to prepare this chapter for you you know why sunday is my favorite day of week the reason being sunday is the day i devoted to god usually my sunday starts with sunday catechism followed by the holy 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 mass the day is devoted for adoration and prayer this chapter explains how one should observe the day of lord how is the sabbath observed in the old testament and in new testament and also we should know what god is insisting us on how to observe lord's day what duties to be performed on this day and we are also going to touch upon the other days of obligation let us study this in the coming slide god gave the commandments to moses at mount sinai we have seen in the previous chapter the books of exodus says like this remember the sabbath day and keep it holy six days you shall labor and do all your work but the seventh day is the sabbath to your lord your god you shall not do any work on that day you your son or daughter your male or female slave your livestock or the alien resident in your towns exodus chapter 20 verses 8 to 10 God finished creation in 6 days and it was on the 7th day that he rested from all of his work. His work was creating the world and the heavens as we know it today. It says that God blessed the 7th day and he made it holy. It was time for God to take a break. Following this, the people in Old Testament celebrated Sabbath not doing anything. not allowing any other human being or animal to do any work they celebrated the sabbath from friday sunset to saturday sunset gradually they started increasing the type of the type and the number of activities to be forbidden on the sabbath day and made it as a law this strict laws to the celebration of the sabbath made more and more difficult The reason why they did so is they celebrated Sabbath remembering how God completed his work in 6 days and took rest on 7th day. If they find someone working on Sabbath, the punishment was severe. They used to stone if this if they find someone doing any forbidden job on Sabbath day. The word Sabbath originated from Hebrew which means to put an end or rest etc jesus made it clear in the new testament about the importance of sabbath the, the day of lord and also he taught us the kind of attitude we should have in our observance of sabbath once jesus was teaching in synagogue there was a man with withered hand in the assembly let's see what happened there on another sabbath jesus entered the synagogue and was teaching now a man was there whose right hand was withered the experts in the law and the pharisees watched jesus closely to see if he would heal on the sabbath so that they could find a reason to accuse him but he knew their thoughts and said to the man who had the withered hand get up and stand here So he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, "I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath 
or to do evil, to save a life or to destroy it. After looking around at them all, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. The man did so, and his hand was restored. If you observe the video, here some of the people wanted to find fault in Jesus. That is why they are asking this question. Isn't it against the law to cure a man on the Sabbath day? They were following a different rule so far. How can Jesus heal a man? And Jesus is responding, How much more valuable is human being than a sheep? So, it is lawful to be good on the Sabbath. So, by doing this, Jesus is teaching us, man is not for Sabbath, but Sabbath is for man. On one such Sabbath day, Jesus was walking through the cornfield with his disciples. They were picking the corns and rubbing them in their hands and eating it. Seeing this, some of the Pharisees asked Jesus, Why are they doing something which is forbidden on Sabbath day? To this Jesus answered, Have you not heard what David did when his followers were hungry? They went into the house of Lord and took the loaves of bread and ate it and also gave to followers. In this chapter, we are trying to understand the same importance of Sabbath and the kind of attitude that we should have towards the day like Jesus tried to explain. We have seen examples of Jesus correcting the wrong notion of Sabbath. Jesus tried to do away from defects of the celebration of Sabbath among the Jews. However, he was very careful to keep the Sabbath day holy. Through many examples, Jesus proved that it is suitable to the spirit of Sabbath and allowed to do good. Once Jesus was preaching in synagogue, let us see what happened on that day. Tell us again about the kingdom. Is there anything else? Do not be afraid, little flock. For your father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell all your belongings and give the money to the poor. Provide for yourselves purses that don't wear out and save your riches in heaven where they will never decrease. Because no thief can get to them and no moth can destroy them. For your heart will always be where your riches are. Woman, you are free from your sickness. Look! Look, she's cured! It's a miracle! A miracle. It's a miracle. Look, she's cured! Come and see! Say, 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 praise to the Lord! <laughs> God keep you, Rabbi. <laughs> there are six days in which we should work, so come on one of those days to be healed, but not on the Sabbath. You hypocrites! Any one of you would untie his ox or his donkey and take it out from the stall to give it water on the Sabbath. Now here is this descendant of Abraham whom Satan has kept in bonds these 18 years. Should she not be released on the Sabbath? Sunday, the Lord's Day. Sunday is the Sabbath day for Christians. It is the Lord's Day. There are several reasons to celebrate Sunday as the day of Lord. Jesus resurrected on the first day of the week. 
that, that was a Sunday. Hence Sunday became the holy day for Christians. After the resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples and others many a time. Among them, the important ones took place on Sundays. The Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples on a Sunday. After 50th, 50 days of Jesus' resurrection, the church was officially inaugurated on a Sunday, the days of the days of Pentecost. So Sunday is day of the church. It is a day set apart to pro proclaim the faith and to celebrate it. The Holy Mass celebrated on that day is very special. The members of the church are expected to participate in the Holy Mass on that day. The Pope reminds us to regard Sunday celebration not only to adhere to the commandment but also to consider it as a need of Christian life. The commandment to celebrate Sunday as a holy day helps us to grow with God and the church. In the letter of John Paul, entitled The Lord's Day, he explains the connection of Sunday celebration with the resurrection, the center of Christian Christ mystery. The Pope qualified Sunday as the Easter day of the week. The Holy Pope says that those who got the gift of faith to believe in Jesus cannot forget the importance of Sundays. Hence, Sunday is not only meant for rest, but also an occasion to meditate on the resurrection of Jesus and to share His glory. We celebrate Sunday as our Lord's Day in three different ways. One, it is a day of worship and it is a day of rest and day of mercy. So the center of Sunday celebration is the offering of Holy Mass, the greatest adoration given to God by the community members. Through the Holy Mass, we obtain the power to renew our faith, life and commitment. We must offer the Holy Mass with attention, devotion and purity of heart. Second point is the day of rest. So we all work throughout the day and Sunday is going to be the holy day and we should consider this day to worship God but same time we should participate in Holy Mass and all day in a spirit of worship and adoration. This will help us to cherish with family and improve the social relationship. And the third point is it is a day of mercy. The fact is that Sunday is a day of mercy that means the social aspect of Sunday celebration is giving importance here. Sunday is a special occasion to show mercy to our suffering brethren. Church has shown interest to, uh, to reach out to suffering ones. We see it from beginning of early church. St. Paul writes to faithful like this. On the first day of every week, each of you to put aside and save whatever extra you earn. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verses 2 On Sundays we must devote at least some time for acts of mercy to help others according to the capacity of each individual. This we can transform Sundays into days of mutual friendship 
and unity and we can make it as a day of mercy the obligatory days the church suggests certain other obligatory days besides the sunday you can see the obligatory days of siro manabar church on the screen now the first one is christmas the second one is dukrana saint thomas day we recently celebrated the third one is assumption of our lady august 15th we are going to celebrate in the coming week then ha uh, the baptism of our lord january 6th feast of saint peter and saint paul on june 29th and the last one is ascension of our lord the thursday after the sixth sunday after easter so here the church gives a special instruction about last three days mentioned above the suggestion is that even though they are not holy days in certain places we have to participate in the holy mass and other holy rituals on these days we have the responsibility to participate in holy mass and engage in good deeds of glorify god as on sundays there is no difference on the lord's day we must take care to join in the divine worship with joyful hearts then only we can keep the third commandment in full spirit 